Changing the antifreeze today. This thing's overheating. I don't think it's getting enough antifreeze in the other Building site has got a fan on it, which is kind of dumb. I'm going to run that fan to a switch. I'm tired of this thing overheating. I want the fan to come on when I want it to come on, not when it's way old, way old past 200 degrees. I want it to come on at 200. Um, got the tent up, we're working on the Miata. Let's hope it stays on the stand and doesn't do anything dumb. Working on this bike. You should have already kicked on by now. It's not running. Piece of poop. Yeah, that's why I gotta wire it. Yeah. Get this up here on the radiator. Pull this thing down. Yeah, I had a feeling that fan didn't work. Or the thermostat's not kicking it on one or the other. Yeah. Yep, it's getting wired directly to the switch. Done with that. And we're draining the coolant. I've run distilled water through it uh, the third time. And it is coming out clear. Well, that was the second time. Some numb nuts put regular green car antifreeze in this, which is not recommended. So, way to go. Way to go, Rex. Alright, now, to put in the expensive stuff, time to take two. 18 bucks, which is like 24 to 26 dollars online. And it's already 50 50. My god. For 20 plus dollars a gallon, it should be full strength. All right, so I got toggle switch here. I got the white I'm using for a hot and the black I'm using for a ground. So these two right here go all the way back to the battery. That's my white and black. I may put a little strip of red around it on each end, just so you know, so I know. Put some red right here. Um, so this goes, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Toggle switch here. This one is to ground. This one on the other side is uh, 12 volts hot coming from the battery. And then the middle one, goes out to whatever you're turning on. In this case, it's the fan behind here. So what it did, now I should have got film of it before, but this set of wires right here 
there's three wires in that little setup come out of the fan on the back side of this and they come up through here and through here these two plug into this and this other one goes on top right here on your thermocouple or your thermo switch. It's basically your thermostat. Once this reaches the desired temperature that it's built for, it kicks on, sends power down to the fan. But I had it over 225 degrees and it did not kick on just sitting here in the driveway. So I ran the fan to a switch because I'm tired of screwing with it. This bike overheating in town. And when it does overheat, you kind of got to do about 40 mile an hour to get the thing to cool down, which in town, pretty much all the streets around here are 35, so it doesn't help. So, basically these are the three wires coming out of the back of the fan. I did a test with uh, jumper cables and some alligator clips. This little clip here, this side has is black with blue, and it had a, a, sh uh, a sheath or a piece of, uh, uh, what do you want to call it, a cover over it. You had to pull the cover back or cut the cover to see. So this one's actually the power wire. And then this bigger one with this end piece on it going to the thermo switch, that was the negative. So I, I put positive on this side and then a negative on this off of my jumper box and the fan ran. So I cut this and took the other end into this alligator clip. So this is your power wire, the black with the blue. I cut it before the clip and ran it to a fuse and to the switch. This is my fusible link. It's not the, not the greatest thing, but it does work. And I made sure I wrapped tape around the two uh, spade terminals uh, clips so that they have, they don't get a chance to touch each other and sh short out and possibly cause a fire. All the wires, that I, all the terminals I plug in here, I wrap electrical tape around so they stay isolated and insulated so they can't touch each other. So it's pretty simple. You run, you run hot and the ground from the battery up through here. Find this wire that comes out of the goes back around to the fan. I did, you got to take this radiator off. It's no big deal. A bolt here, and then these two hoses. One here, one down here, and then there's a little retaining clip hook, which it rests on. So this wire coming out of the back of the fans. Dig out the uh, the thicker one that's got the sheath on it. It's blue with black. Splice into that. Go into your power. And then this is your ground, which goes to the thermocouple. So, moment of truth, turn the switch. So, it's not that hard. It just took me a little while because I wanted to do it right and get the wire lengths right so there's not a bunch of slop hanging around. So I wanted to try and keep it neat and tidy. I will probably put a zip tie loosely over this to keep it up and out of the way. Um, yeah. But there you go. All I gotta do is watch the temperature gauge now and when it gets close to 200, I'll just flip the switch. So I'm ready to put coolant back in it and we're good to go.